So we have a special guest today, in case you don't know, John so Miller exciting. from Love After Lockup, Life After Lockup, and he's going to tell us some good stuff today. So exciting. So exciting. Okay. First of all, I want to ask, okay, what is, what is your current occupation? Like what, what is it you really enjoy? Yeah, what what has what what John Miller been doing in the last year? I work in uh, mental health. Um, mm -hmm. I work at a crisis center. Um, you know, helping individuals that are in crisis. Oh, I like that. I like and that. I work for the Department of Corrections. I'm also a sexual assault advocate for an outfit around here. And, you know, I do uh, I do a few different things. And I oh, did that all the way through the show as well. Hi, Jeremy. That's interesting because I have to tell you, I think in watching you over, you know, over the seasons, over the last like couple of years, I'll be honest with you, I had no idea what you did for a living. So I, I like to thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of did, I kind of didn't know either because you know the show only shows a limited amount of information, right? And it's usually not the stuff we really want to know about. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. I, and, I, have, and to I have to be careful because of where I work and with HIPAA and all that. So I, I kept most of my work life, you know, fairly under wraps. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, come on. We know how um, the Internet trolls are. And you say one thing and they're like, oh, you work with this? I'm going to call. Uh, there's 150 places that I'm going to call and I'm going to figure out where you are. So I, I totally get it. 100 percent. Right. <laughs> okay, so I need to know when you go out in public, do you get recognized? Uh, well, everyone around here already knows me. Uh, <laughs> so they so, obviously recognize you. Yeah, so <laughs> in in Iowa, every once in a while, but when I go to bigger cities like Atlanta and Chicago and mm -hmm. Dallas and out in California and places like that. I get recognized a, a fair deal. I get recognized mm -hmm. at the Mall of America quite a bit for some odd reason. I don't know why. Really? Minnesota? Yeah. That, that is. I don't, is how, much, I don't like how much to do there, John. So. It snows a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little tired of the snow, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Hey, I'm in Arizona. Head south, right? <laughs> That's what you got to do. Head oh, south. Yeah. Do, they, do they ask you know, to take photos? Do you get photos taken with people like when you're out? Oh, yeah, out? yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I actually have pictures that I have in my in my truck and whatnot, and I take them with me, and I just give them mm -hmm. out to whoever wants them, sign them, take pictures, you know, do whatever. I'm fan friendly. That's, well, that's good. Uh, John, that is hilarious that you actually keep your headshot in your in your vehicle. I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, don't even take a picture of me. Hold on for a second. I've got. <laughs> let me give you. I, a hey, I got a fanny pack, and I got my <laughs> in there, and I got. Oh my God, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for for fan stuff. You know. <laughs> John's got his wallet size pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to stick right here to your family. I, I, I have fun with it. I, you know, I love the fans. I love going out and just hanging out. And, you know, I had a fan actually take take me to dinner a while back, and we just hung out. And it was like, all right, cool. That is so nice that you uh, that you went. There's yeah, not absolutely. a lot of. There's I mean, not her a lot. And her, her and her husband uh, did the invite, and and we oh. went, and it was fun, and. Right. You know, we we drove like an hour or so to meet them, and right. you know, she was a psychiatrist, I think, and her oh. husband—I can't remember what he did—but yeah, it was a good time. That is that's 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 pretty impressive. Like I said, most people would not take the time to go and have dinner with complete strangers. You know, especially with you know, like just how it seems like everything is kind of crazy. <laughs> The world well, is crazy. Up, that depends on who's paying. That's true. Pay. Like if they, I go, they pay. I go to dinner with some <laughs> I hope you picked a nice restaurant then. <laughs> I think we went to Applebee's actually, which I like Applebee's. But like, I haven't on, been I have poisoned yet, so they. <laughs> next next time, upgrade, upgrade. Uh, yeah, go to have them take you to Fridays. At least you could get better ribs. You know. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
where I come from, like the best ribs on earth, Memphis. So, right. I'm yeah. Like, you do have the best good, ribs that's a good lead for the next question. Like, right. what do you enjoy doing for fun? Like, do you have special yep. hobbies, special mm -hmm. interests? I know you collect a lot of mm -hmm. different that's types of That's pretty much it. That's what I do. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I travel to conventions. I collect. Mm -hmm. I collect autographs I don't have. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm running out of room in my house. So, <laughs> uh oh. So, so what is it that you collect? Uh, anything Freddie and Jason related. Oh, right. okay. That's right. The really horror. Cool. Yes. The, yes, yes. the horror. Uh, I got, yeah. I have the door from the 1966 Volkswagen Beetle. Um, I haven't oh. released the video yet, but. <laughs> While we were at a convention in Georgia here uh -huh. just a couple weeks ago, uh, uh -huh. I actually taught the uh, the the county that uh -huh. we went to into giving me the code to the gate so I could go back to Camp Crystal Lake that was locked up. And we went through all the buildings and the cabins, and I got to the lake water, and we were hanging out. I honestly, no, thank you. Out and I would take off running. Just like they do on the show, on the movies. No, no, yeah, no, but the people no. that take off running always die. So <laughs> that's true. That is true. Why are you running to the car? You know it's not going to start. Have you not seen this before? <laughs> Guess oh, why you somebody, die? You, you just so know. What, what's with the Freddy figurines and the fish tank? Made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Hey, I ran out of money for a uh, display cabinet, so I bought a giant fish tank at a secondhand store, and I put them in there. Oh, that's hey, it works, right? Hey, it works. I don't have that anymore. I've upgraded and done some changing. I mean, I've got a, a giant, uh, you know, six-foot-tall Freddy standing behind me over here, so. I will. Okay, John, I really like you a lot. And if you, at any other point, if you were like, hey, if you're ever in the area, swing on past the house, we can have a drink. I would be sure. Hearing that, I, I will decline your offer. Uh, Jason's in the living room. Hell no. Nope. No, thank you. She said stay in Iowa, I think, John. <laughs> I literally yell at the TV. <laughs> I just saw that. She goes, I literally yell at it. Oh, my God. I can't even imagine, like, waking up in the middle of the night to have you in the bathroom and you look over and I would be like, holy I would die. My, my, my daughter's used to it, you know. She's into Chucky oh. and Michael Myers, so it's nothing new to her at all. Oh, it's just... a family affair. Oh, it's a family. Oh, absolutely. Affair. Okay. I would pee my pants. I can't even go through the uh, the, the the haunted, you know, Halloween, and they have the haunted hay rides, and I, I I can't do it. I've done them a couple of times, and I've literally punched people because I got scared, and the natural reaction was. You are trying to kill me, so therefore I will defend myself. <laughs> and, and it was that thing of no, this is really fake. They're really not trying to kill you, but my instinct of I need to kick you in the groin. Yeah, I don't, I don't respond well to those things. <laughs> okay, my my offer for that drink has been rescinded, as I do not wish to get kicked in the groin at any time in the near future. That's it. John says no. So, no yeah. more. John's yeah. ruin is marked safe from my foot, so we're good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the uh, off-limit groins. Right. <laughs> now, I thought you guys had hard questions. I mean, come on. What's we, really we, hard? We're, 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 hard. we're starting out. I'm, I'm starting out easy with you, okay? Yeah, we want to just start out easy. You know, I do need to know. Okay, do you watch reruns of your seasons? Yes. Yeah. So, Damn it. I knew you were going to say that. I had a feeling you were going to say yes. Of course he was. So, all right. So, what is your opinion on your season and on your storyline? You know, I mean, you can't fake that kind of emotion. Uh, you just can't. Um, you know, I won't speak to any of the other cast or whatever. Um but I can say that, you know, there was there was a lot of real shit happening there. And, you know, I I look back at the season and I only watch it like if I, you know, because I don't get home from work till like one o'clock in the morning. So I'll turn the TV on in the background. Every once in a while, there'll be a rerun of the season on and I'll just have it go in the background, um, you know, and sometimes I'll even turn it off like I don't want to watch this. right now, You know. But I mean, yeah, there's a lot to unpack with with 
you know, our season. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love Brittany and Marcelino. I love, mm -hmm. uh, I love Sarah who is with Sean. I think she's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I really liked Rachel and, you know, I like Kelly, you know, mm -hmm. for the most part, you know, it's, it's difficult, um, I guess with the inmates coming out and whatnot for the other, per I, I always used to say that you cannot put a convict with a non-convict and have it work. Uh, it's very difficult to do that. I agree. But over the, sense. Years, over the last couple of years, I have discovered that just putting two convicts together doesn't, you know, even if you have that love there, doesn't necessarily mean that you can make it work because mm -hmm. there has to be, you know, the common interest and there has to be, you know, all mm -hmm. of these other things in place. And without mm -hmm. those things in place, it's not going to work anyway. Yeah, you're spot on with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's like with any relationship, I think, John. But I, yeah, I mean, I there is something about when you do have two people that share that background of going through the legal system, yeah. being right. in jail, being in prison. There's a lot of things that those of us that have not experienced that don't understand, like when they come out, where right. you it, could understand so that and you could actually have, work with them. You know, right. I have PTSD. And there's times more than others that I mm -hmm. still get triggered. Um, mm -hmm. And my time of incarceration, which was 12 years, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll, I'll never be able to shake it. You know, right. there's times I wake up in the middle of the night after having dreams. Mm -hmm. And it's like, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I don't sleep uh, very well ever. Um, it's been a little better recently. Uh, but it's, it's just something I've learned to live with. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you about that, actually, and you already answered it for me. I can't imagine what it's like waking up every day with the same routine around the same people, the same. I just I can't. Oh, uh, it's I mean, I did two years in solitary confinement while I was locked up, too, which was. Wait, the, what? Why? Yeah. Why? Um, yeah, I got I took the rap for a bunch of stuff and I was caught tattooing on my roommate at like two in the morning because my jigger shooter at the door fell asleep and wasn't watching for the cop. Um, <laughs> Sorry. So, um, yeah, wait, they, oh. wait, they locked me up for two years in solitary. A, a jigger yeah. shooter? Yeah, it, uh, it's the person that we assigned to the door to watch for the police. Yeah. Somehow, I, I, somehow I knew that and that's kind of sad, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> you I watch know that. Shows. <laughs> How do you not know that? I watch all the prison shows, every single one of them. I don't Me know too. Why. I want to go on sixty days in. I've oh, already I got love sixty scene. days in. Do I love it. That oh, show. you might get recognized though. Well, yeah. See, yeah. they they could call but and check on me. I've already got a rap sheet. Oh, right. I was going to say that would be perfect because I they I could go in as myself. Something wrong, right? You did right. You went right. Oh, that would be excellent. I oh, like that. Do I not know. give him any ideas. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm, I think it's already there. I, I'm working on it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so I, have, I was wondering. Okay. Now, I know people get asked this all the time with reality TV. Um, was any of it scripted? No. No. Really? I like that answer. Kind of surprised. Well, I kind of feel well, like I can only speak for right. my side. For your part. Okay. Now I will say that sometimes they make you redo things. Right. But in our particular case, it was like, okay, we will redo it for you, but exactly the way it happened five minutes ago. We're not mm -hmm. gonna throw in any any extra shit for TV purposes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good to know. Hmm. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, because I kind of feel like they they give you the script when the when they feel like there needs to be drama, and it was almost like We TV was like, no, no, John, you you got good drama. We don't we don't need to <laughs> <laughs> like that drama. <laughs> <laughs> to your drama, so you're good. <laughs> Yeah. They're like, right. you just go ahead with your daily life, John. And I think we've got it all covered. Right. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I, I have a, I, I do have some questions and, and so, and I'm going to kind of go with the Christiana and her family and I, you know, and I, you can respectively decline to answer it uh, or not, but I'm, I'm curious if, aside from if you have a relationship with her or, or not any longer, 
but how is the family dynamic with Christiana, with her family? Because at one point they were living with you, at least her mother was. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Her mom to and Tara were both. Yes. Right. Well, I know that Tara had left at one yes. point um, with all of, you know, with all of that that was going on. But so I don't know if that's something that you feel comfortable she, answering or not. The mother's being treated was in a like a type of she's home actually in rem, she's actually in remission. Oh, awesome. oh, that's fabulous news. OK, Yay. good. Yeah. Um, I don't I haven't seen mom for a while or Tara, so I can't mm -hmm. really speak to anything going on there. Um, mm -hmm. okay. But I mean, the family dynamic, uh, the mm -hmm. only word I can use is uh, broken. I mean, the whole family dynamic was was just it was broken, and whether it'll uh, ever get repaired or not, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm. Okay, so I, I I have a really hard question to ask, and I don't know if that's if you if you want to answer this one or not. But sure. there was a lot of rumors about Christiana being pregnant. And that was next. Negative. Okay. Okay. Because I, I feel like we heard from a lot of other people confirming or denying. <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny. Yeah, I, I saw I saw um, the same rumors and yes. Yes, I, I can you confirm know, that's, that's that a question that, was not that you hate to ask of a for a for a woman because it's kind of like well if they're not then you feel bad for asking <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> And if they are, it's like, yay, but you know, it's, it's a double-edged sword on that situation. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. So now, so you, if there was a opportunity for you to go back and do a love after lockup, love finds, you know, anything like, you know, the, the, any of the, the shows or, if you had an opportunity to meet someone else who was incarcerated, would you go back and do a love while incarcerated, love after during lockup, love after lockup, um, ever, I, you know, you know. I would do another season of life after lockup, possibly, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the direction that, that they went with it. Mm -hmm. Um, I would not, however, go back uh, just because of, of my child, Clarissa, with her autism and this, that, and the other. Um, I'm not going to take the risk of um, dating another inmate that may have a substance abuse problem or something like that. It's too much of a risk for my child, and I'm not going to take that risk again. Um, so I probably wouldn't, wouldn't go in that direction again, no. So did, was there, I mean, did your children, and I, I don't want to bring children into it, but I mean, it's, it's fine. I, I kind of gather that it was the, doing the show was really difficult on them. It was hard on them. Um, Essa loved it. Uh, hey, I'm on TV. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, Sarah was not a fan. Sapphire definitely was not a fan. Um, you know, they basically did it for me. Um mm -hmm. uh, so and and there was a lot of stuff that didn't make it into the show with confrontations with me and and sapphire and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh, so yeah for them you know they just assume not uh be involved anymore uh which is fine um i'm not gonna have them do anything that you know that they don't want to do and and just as kind of a psa um you know a lot of people you know after they leave the show or whatever they have all kinds of things to say about sharp and we tv and production and this that and the other and i gotta say as many arguments as i got into with production right um you know i definitely get where they're coming from and i can't say anything bad about them because they put me into situations and they put me into a situation that i'm currently in and without them I would not have been able to do some of the things that I've done. So, you know, I appreciate everything that they've done over the last couple of years. And, um, you know, it's, it's fantastic. You know, hmm. Hmm. I've got some, 
Go so let me, so let me just yeah, say, no, I think I always hear like the right. other side of the spectrum. Well, no, because I'm, I'm going to just take this. It, it seems to me that our friend John here, where this has been a negative effect, has uh, this has become like a positive, which means that he's really happy. <laughs> Something as good has happened to him um, because I will tell you, this is not the response that most people get. Most people are like, they ripped my relationship apart. They did this, they did that. It was everything else. And he is like, I'd like to thank we TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've thanked them in thank person. Thank you for this award. You know, exactly. <laughs> thank God. Yes. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah. There was one major shining star. His name is JB. It was fantastic. He was awesome. He was a very good sport when I bought him a racist gift basket. It was fantastic. <laughs> I, I sure the fuck did uh, on the last day of filming. Oh my god! I, am I allowed to ask what exactly is 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 included in a? Racist no, I, I, no. I, I say let's you not even tell me that secret. I I do not want to know. We, we became we became friends, and he gave me so much shit. Uh, I will tell you this: he got his ass whooped on set by a ten-year-old. Sorry, uh, Jimmy, I had to do it. My, my niece uh, from the show, uh, the tall uh, little girl. Yes. Right? JB yes. was giving me shit during filming one day, and she's like, oh, fuck no, Uncle John. I got this. And she ran up and cocked him right in the gut. Uh, <laughs> she got it. Flying over tables and shit. It was fucking great. I <laughs> got his ass whooped by a 10-year-old. <laughs> it was fantastic. I would, you know, I would never admit that if I was a grown man. <laughs> I'll put it out there. He's gonna love me for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, JB. I love you, man. <laughs> Nobody actually said he did, but John just put it out there. <laughs> now I need to meet JB. Yeah, now we need to. Yeah, we're gonna have to have this. He is awesome. He actually left us to go film with Oprah. Oh, oh, well, oh! Now he's gonna get all the really good gift baskets. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And probably not um, racist ones. <laughs> probably not racist. It's going to be full of books and candles and, you know, I don't know, Vagisil. So I'm sure he'll he'll be full <laughs> of <Vagisil>. <laughs> So I, I, I'm actually scanning through the comments over here. Why don't you get to the question that everyone wants to know? Are you the guest Okay, the yeah. big, okay. You mean, yeah. you mean the big question, like, are you and Christiana still together? No. No. Uh, oh. Oh, hold on. Well, so let me just ask you then. I'll ask the next question then. Who are you seeing? That's what I was gonna say. Because <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be good. I have to feel like some light up on his face. That's, a, that, that's a very interesting question. It's gonna be good. I can feel it. <laughs> Are are you uh, are you ready to take a turn in the whole interview process? Am I going to? I need to. That person like is to there. there I, I need to brace myself so I don't fall off the chair. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Everybody's like, "What?" <laughs> Who's there? And and no, I have not seen her in probably since the beginning of January. Okay. I wow. have heard from her a couple of times, but nothing. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, spectacular. Um, mm -hmm. I wish her the best in her endeavors. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope she finds what she needs. And, um, you know, I, I just wish her the, the best in her life. That's very nice of so, you to say. Then yeah. everything that we were seeing on social media was actually really taking place. Yes. Break up the, the post, the everything. Okay. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah. I wondered about that because sometimes, you know, you know, things go back and forth and you're not quite sure, like, are they together? Are they not? Mm -hmm. um, you know what? Before you bring your... Uh, okay, I have a question. Yes. Um, so the situation with you and Tara, did you guys get as close as it was shown? You know, the show portrayed it as you guys got really close. Like, y'all were just... Were y'all just friends? Um, it's, it's kind of like... Uh, perception is reality, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we were close uh, while she was living here. Mm -hmm. uh, she helped me out a lot. 
and she was a different person when she was living here. Um, and, and I hope that she's doing well now. Um, you know, um, she helped out with the kids. She, you know, cause I worked a lot of hours. Um, right. I can't answer that question queen. Cause I don't know. Um, okay. That's, I was just going to see if you saw yeah, that. I, I, I don't have an answer for that. I'm sorry. Um, but you know, like the whole thing with when she came down to my room looking for her phone, uh, that is something that occurred on a daily basis. Um, she would leave her phone out somewhere. I would take it and I would hide it. You mm -hmm. know, it, it's what we did. Um, would I have slept with her? No. Um, not really my thing. I was, I was loyal. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it was, um, we were close and I didn't realize uh, the perception that it was giving off to everyone else. Um, you know, and she was taking on, you know, more of a mom role and, uh, you know, I mean, she'd have, she'd have dinner cooked when I got home and stuff like that. And, you know, I mean, she did the things and, uh, yeah. I appreciate her for that. And I appreciate everything she did while she was here. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, we were, we were extremely close. Um, but you know, there was, we did not have an affair. Okay. That's good to hear. I mean, I did notice, I did notice that, you know, she was kind of taking over the wife role, so to speak, even though I know she technically wasn't taking on the whole, but yeah, I did notice that she was doing a lot for you. And I'm sure you did appreciate that. Uh, Natalie I says, I don't watch the show, but I really like your guest. <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have any more hard questions before I uh, start dropping things? I, I need to I need to get some things dropped, so I, I so I have some hard questions. <laughs> Just, we I can do questions. that. Yeah. Um, are you guys familiar with the man cold? Oh, absolutely. I, I have a husband. Wait, the what? Man the, cold. The man cold. You know, they oh, have a yeah. cold and you think that. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. And they whine and cry and, and about it like and, they're dying. And yes, absolutely. Yeah, uh, all the time. Uh, every, everything that you're about to uh, witness uh, came about because of a man cold. And I was doing a live on Facebook. And uh -huh. I was letting all of my fans know that uh, I was dying and would not be able to do any more live broadcasts. <laughs> <laughs> and at at that particular moment, <laughs> it ruined everything in my life changed. Uh huh. So, I will not keep you in suspense anymore. Right. And, you know whether you suspect what I'm going to do or not. Um, okay, and just let me put it out there for everybody. I have no, no idea. idea. No idea. So neither one of us know who is about to come on here. Please don't let it be a giant dildo. It's a surprise for us too. <laughs> yes, just so everybody knows. I was not told. I, was, I, don't I be had no dildo. information. I had, I had to put the giant dildo on. So, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, John. <laughs> I, I will respect your wishes on the whole situation. Thanks for doing that, John. I really on, appreciate me, it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a special guest right here. Oh, oh no, is, it hard. Hard. is that is that a boy or girl? Uh, it's a boy, and his name is Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Um, <laughs> and he is definitely one hundred percent not naughty. <laughs> All right, I, I I'm sorry, but as much as I would like to think that Baby Yoda watched you live. Watched you profess that the, you were dying. This is the last live that you would ever do ever in your career. Not buying it. Not buying it. <laughs> he is, he is really cute, though. I will give you that. I'm a, I'm a dog person, so he's adorable. He's adorable. I, I, I'm not buying I, it. You're okay. not being completely honest, are, Mister. Are we? Uh... Are, are are we ready to get to the the nitty yeah. gritty here? Yeah. yeah. Do I need a drum roll? Dum yeah. Are, are, you <laughs> are you ready? Whoever's there, are you ready for I'm the ready. Drum roll? I have no clue. 
Hold on. All right. It's, kind of, it's dark. I, I would like to uh, hold on. Let me see if this helps. Uh, hold on. Let me kill the window. <laughs> oh, but, yep, that's the problem. The light behind you. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Get it. Oh, she's scooting. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> John. Okay, John, that is like covering an elephant with like a baby blanket. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. That is not what that? Right, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We're here to give you a hard time. Just so you know. <laughs> That's our job. It's not worth it all. You are not coming in here right now. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Um, I didn't even think about the backlight being an issue, but I should as a photographer, right? Hold on. Welcome everybody. I see you guys in the chat. Thank you for being here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, we don't need Freddy Krueger. Oh, no, 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 Freddy Krueger. I can't with that. Yeah, he's like, you know, right. oh, getting all the blankets. <laughs> <laughs> this looks familiar. I think I might have done something similar to this before. <laughs> oh, wait. I think you're getting there, John. We are getting there. I know. The puppy was adorable. I right, can't. Right. There you go. All right. We'll try that for now. Okay. Yes, better. We still got yes, the glare, but we're better. better. Much, much better. Well, hello there. Hi. Uh, this Hi. would be uh, Crystal. Hello, Crystal. Crystal, oh, very nice good. to meet you. Very nice she, to meet you. She, she rescued me from my man cold. <laughs> from your manhole. My man cold. His man oh, your man cold. cold. Man cold, man whole. Right. <laughs> well, you know, same thing. And can, uh, can we just uh, give her an award right now? Because I'm familiar with the man cold, and it is the worst thing in the world to deal with. Yes. Well, I will yeah, really. I, I will so, let her kudos. tell you how this went down. Yes, and, please. And, and and what the situation was before and after the man cold and oh, wait, is this true? Is Crystal really Jeremy's adopted sister? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So okay. Okay. Me. I think my best friend's on here somewhere. So, yeah. Okay. Very mm -hmm. about John, um, obviously because of the show. Right. But I had added both him and Christiana actually to Facebook way before. I'm an hour <laughs> from them. So as a fan of the show. And mm -hmm. then I'm watching their relationship implode on Facebook mm -hmm. like everybody else. And mm -hmm. so I had never done it before, but he's doing a live and he's dying. So mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, I'm bringing food. <laughs> and he's like, where do you live? And I told him where I lived. He's like, hey, throw me a message. So I did. Mm -hmm. And we totally, completely clicked from that mm -hmm. like, first video call. I did mm -hmm. not bring the food. It ended up making my kid sick. So he probably would have thought I poisoned him. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you're getting lots of welcomes, Crystal. So, okay. So, so you reach out because of the man cold. Yeah. Because, you know, he's dying. He's, know, he's, he's dying. dying. Right? You're yep. like, this is my last opportunity to talk to the John Miller yep. before yep. he dies, <laughs> which, is, which is great. So, all right. So let me just ask you that the first conversation that you had with him, I, I'm sure that you probably had uh, a number of questions and, and things that you needed to kind of, we've all seen John Miller and we've seen his his past and we've seen his past relationship. Uh, so what did that conversation, how was that first initial conversation with him, which then made you go, hey, I would actually like to see you again. Not, nothing against you, John. That's but, a good question. That's you know, really getting, good question. getting I involved, asked her the same some... question. <laughs> yeah. Like, why? Why, why, why would you want to do think? this? There's, there's a lot right. that goes wrong yeah. with being in a relationship with somebody who has been on reality TV. I, I commend you for this because now people have seen your face, girl. You better uh, you better yep. change your profile real quick because everybody. Right away, you're very. <laughs> it's gonna you're be very well, trust me. In, in the in the short time this has been going on, we do have some okay. stories, and we will give you guys the the scoop yeah. on a few other things that have yeah. happened. Right. So go ahead and, and give me give me your your conversation with John Miller, which made you go, yes, I actually want to see this guy again, or actually see him. Or any video called me, 
-hmm. And we just start talking. So obviously I'm a fan of the show and that's why I commented. And mm -hmm. so I did, I went straight to him and I'm like, Hey, you know, I'm a fan, I'm not in this for the publicity. So I'm not telling anyone we're talking. And I wanted to make that clear to him from day one. Um, mm -hmm. Knock and, it off, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be famous. Hey, do you guys have in your house? Yeah, you've got, and I know we're you, got some, you got a heckler in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows me. Like, my friends know me and these reality TV stars, so that's something else. So, um, right. you know, he's the first one I've ever met. But I, I, I just made it clear. And so I'm like, hey, I know you can't talk about the show because of, you know, the contract, but just mm -hmm. pretty much are you guys done? Because I wasn't going to get in the middle of like a messy situation. And he's like, yeah. Right. And right. so um, fast forward the conversation, he asked me on a date and mm -hmm. I had just turned 40 and I'm like, I'm going to embrace life. I'm going to, you know, try different things. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. Like, time out. Hold on, hold on. Are you gonna go with the with the age gap? Wait a minute. Can I just can I can I ask you a question? This is yeah. I love this. I just turned forty. I need to do something different. I need to like <laughs> throw caution to the wind. Yeah. I'm gonna date a reality TV star. You yeah. you went you went from I've got this great life and I'm folding some clothes to. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna straight up. Ask list. for what she does for a living. Uh, oh, what do you do for a living? I need to know. I'm a librarian. Oh, you are the best. I love you. <laughs> but you want to know what I absolutely love? And is this huge joke with us? Uh -huh. So he likes all his horror stuff. Right. I am into true crime and serial killers. Oh, oh I love perfect. that. So, yeah. Perfect. Oh, well, my God. I'm a writer, so that's a pretty good right. fit. Yeah. All right. Yep. I'm an author. Yep. Yeah. And you're a librarian. So there you yeah. go. John, you better really be careful because like she reads all the serial killer stuff. You <laughs> happen to have all the serial killer we, stuff. We, we've had this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We know yeah. We're not to yeah. like bury a body to get caught. Yeah. This and is, I've warned him this. Right. This is not the girl to piss off because she can actually like legitimately bury you and nobody will find you. <laughs> yeah, I, like I like this. You don't even need to bury okay. them. No, this is fabulous. I love it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So, so you were so you were telling us that you just you turn forty. Yep. I'm gonna do different things. Yep. You end up with, with John. So okay. So go on from there. Sorry. So <laughs> he, he actually offered to come to my town and take me out, and I'm mm -hmm. a very private person, mm -hmm. but I'm on YouTube doing this interview right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, hey, why don't I just come to your house and we do pizza? And. Uh -huh. We did. That was, was that even our first date? He actually came and surprised me at work two days later and he walked in and I'm like, you, like I knew him with the mask, like I knew him. And I'm like, right. what are you doing here already? Right. And then I just froze and uh -huh. my coworkers like, what the heck are, is wrong? Like, I'm like, oh right. my God, this guy I met is in this library. She's like, go talk to him. And uh -huh. I'm like, oh my God. And so, yeah, we actually hung up for a while after work. Two uh -huh. days later, we went out of town and did normal couple stuff. And then right. it was Valentine's Day. We actually came to his house, made pizzas with his daughter, and uh -huh. um, fast forward, and I went to Atlanta with him, uh -huh. and that was my first plane ride. So it's not just I'm dating a reality star. Right. He got me on a flipping plane I never thought he'd ever do. <laughs> and so- Wait, have you never flown? No, that was my biggest fear. Okay. It's, it's my biggest fear to this day, girl. I, I drive mm -hmm. past the airport and, and have a panic attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I do like you. Xanax leading up to it all that Thursday. Right, right, right. You got to medicate. Medicate yourself. <laughs> and I did. I told everyone, I'm like, I'm going to take sleeping pills, Xanax, or I'm going to start drinking for the first time in like 13, 14 years. Amen. People sister. are like, Just do it all at once. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> And so I did. I took three Xanax to get on the plane and I was kind of zoned out mm -hmm. and it was cool. Mm -hmm. You know, didn't remember most of it, but mm -hmm. I did take Xanax coming home. So right. coming home, like I took one in the airport as he's taking the car back and I'm with his daughter having a complete panic attack and a meltdown. I'm like, no, we can't do this. We're not checking her bag. Right. right. Home. Like, I don't care. Right. Um, yeah. So I was awake, the whole thing. I'm alive. Don't know if I'll ever do that again. He knows that. <laughs> You're going to be fine. No. <laughs> no, she and no. I have a lot in common. I don't think that fear of flying is one of the worst. Yes. 
Yeah. 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 Um, and mine is not only fear of flying, flying, but I'm claustrophobic. So it's like I have I have twofold there. Ooh, it's like okay, no. I don't like to fly, and then you're stuck in this little compartment with all these people. Okay, you're gonna give her anxiety. Like, <laughs> yeah. in Atlanta, though. Yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah. It was You're going to awesome. get more anxiety talking about it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Crystal. an elevator <laughs> that I would go and it would open and I went down there not knowing it. Mm -hmm. So I'm a huge WWE fan and it was Luke Gallows. He has another name now mm -hmm. but was going to be down there we found out thursday night so i'm like oh let's mm -hmm. go meet him i knew tom arnold was going to be there we're from mm -hmm. iowa so the slipknot's from iowa so i looked mm -hmm. at Corey taylor's picture so the first day friday we're just going to go walk downtown atlanta and we're talking mm -hmm. to these two guys at the elevator and the mm -hmm. door opens and luke gallows is standing there mm -hmm. and i'm like holy shit i flew from iowa to georgia to see you and my dad <laughs> And the woman's like, well, come down and see us. Well, we, there was room in the elevator. So we jumped uh -huh. in. I'm like, can I take my picture with you? Uh -huh. And I did. And then we went, got a block from the motel. And John realized he mentally like lost me because, mm -hmm. you know, I went all fangirl on him at that point. See, John, like, see, she got a little taste of that celebrity <laughs> status from being with you. And she's like, hey, like, like I have Luke now. That's okay. <laughs> she did. She did. Uh, when we first walked into the hotel, we were going to the elevator, and here comes Kane Hodder from Friday the 13th walking down the hallway. Great. And we know each other. So, it was like, hey, Kane, what's up? And he's like, Great. hey, what's going on? And then, yeah, I mean, it was. It, oh, it, my goodness. <laughs> the next day in the elevator, she got on there, and Corey Taylor from Slipknot was in the elevator. Oh, my goodness gracious. It opened. What? And I'm like, Holy shit, are you Corey Taylor? Sorry if I should swear on this. No, you're this the Atlanta way. airport, Crystal. Huh? Was it the Atlanta airport? Yes. We no. That this is a huge this hotel. hotel. They were at the hotel. Yeah. Right. This hotel. is at the hotel in Atlanta. Yeah, it's right. it's really nice there. I like that airport. It's, I mean, if I'm gonna have to fly, I don't mind going into Atlanta. So, so in other words, what you need to do is just stand by the elevator. I yes. know. <laughs> you have the magic finger to bring people. <laughs> Famous people. <laughs> I have to say, when I met, I had a certain shirt I was going to wear down to the convention Saturday. Oh, and then I met the Gallows, and we go uh -huh. a night early. Uh -huh. And so I'm going upstairs to change. Not for him. I'm going mm -hmm. to change for this wrestler. <laughs> And so I got a lot of shit for that by my friends that are like, you're supposed to change for John, not for the right dude. It's like, oh, sorry, you know. Gotta John's like, oh, babe, you look great. And you're like, thanks, it's not for you. <laughs> yeah, that's, all right. that's exactly how it went down. I love it. <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, so let me, so where did, so you're, you're talking about, I'm dying on a live to, mm -hmm. what, what is the time? Yeah, I was trying to dying on a live to dying two months, two, two weeks. weeks, two weeks. You oh, guys wow. have only been seeing each other for two weeks. We had known each other at two weeks at that point. I think okay. I think they're talking about when they met in person. Right? Yeah, so when it so well, when the live video happens. So, so the, yeah, when little, did the live video happen? When was John dying on live? February seventh. Yes, February seventh. So we're fe February Mar a month. Yeah. <laughs> So yep. we're a month. Yep. Wow. You guys really. Okay. Are you leaving yet? No. Okay. Gotcha. Say what? Has the L word been dropped yet? Oh, ah! the L word has been dropped. Uh, oh, no, we have the L word. The smile says it all. <laughs> the L word has been dropped. Wow. This is exciting. Okay, so have have you now? I I do know that John has not had any interaction, but are you worried about there being some kind of reaction coming from the ex? I am. You, yeah, I, I was going to say as you, long as everything's thrown at me. Mm -hmm. um, we went into this like he didn't know if he was filming another season. Like, should we mm -hmm. go public on our own? And I'm like, I just need to keep this away from my family and my job. Like any bad yeah. reaction that could happen. Right. Um, I'm a tough cookie, mm -hmm. I guess. And I don't give a shit what other people think. And so mm -hmm. I will say I was a huge fan of Christiana. I wish her mm -hmm. nothing but the best. A couple of the first talks we had, I'm like, I hope you two can work it out. You know? So, right. yeah. Mm. Speaking of horror shows, Raquel, what is behind you? That's the owl. 
No, who's outside your window? I'm sorry. Nobody's y'all. outside my window. John, don't. I, 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 no, I am not yeah, turning around. It's an owl. <laughs> Can't you tell it's a girl? Right there. I'm it's not putting it. I see it. It's moving. It's, it's got to be a tree. It's got to be a tree. A tree. <laughs> a tree. A tree. I am like, there's no, nope, I'm not turning around because when you turn around, you're gone. Nope. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey, I'm like, John, I'm not, I'm not running. I'm not turning around. If I don't look, I don't die. So, <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> You know, you want to hear oh my a goodness. story for Atlanta. Oh my goodness. So well, so I know that so John, you are are very immersed in your Native American culture. Ah. Um, so how do Crystal, how do you fit into all of this? I know that that it, you know, I don't I don't know if you are also American Indian. Are are you going to be embracing um, I don't know, John, I, I don't know how much you are now still, you know, into your your Native American, you know, background. I knew you had a lot of customs, a lot of cultures and things that that you stuck with, you know, that you had. So yeah, I, I still do them. Uh, mm-hmm. Me and Crystal are actually going to uh, Carrie's house uh, next month uh, mm-hmm. and I'm going to do ceremony up there. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, she's well aware of what I do. We've talked about it in great lengths. Mm-hmm. Um, we've also talked about the fact that she is a Christian. Um, so, you know, I don't expect her to do the things that I do, but I'd like mm-hmm. her to experience them. So she knows, mm-hmm. you know, what I do. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that's kind of, uh, just kind of where we're at with that. Crystal, there is nothing like a power. Let them use the same knife on your hair. Okay. Let's <laughs> don't use the same thing. No, no. And for the love, painful. that looked it, painful. It did look painful. And Crystal, yeah. if he pulls up in a pickup truck and he's got some big thing on the back, just know what's coming. <laughs> he, he didn't watch that season. <laughs> so I haven't seen it from the beginning. And I went, my best, one of my best friends has watched it. And she kept uh-huh. going, oh my God, watch this show. You're going to fall in love with this Iowa couple. And you're going to love Ricky Marcy, you know. I'm like, fine, because I love reality TV. And then I'm like, holy crap. And so, yeah, now we're here. Little did you know you were actually really going to fall in love with someone on the show, right? Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Well, y'all are a really cute couple, I must say. I, 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 I love you guys. I, I love and you guys. in the chat is saying the same thing. That y'all are really cute. And I will tell well, you. I just want to tell my brother. The reason he doesn't know the details Jeremy. is because he's the one that has the big mouth. But I'm proud of him because he did keep oh, it a secret. Oh, okay. He did video chat John when I was at Atlanta and video called him. And I'm like, oh, my God, I just met Luke Gallows. You'll appreciate this because he likes wrestling. And I'm like, hey, you want to video chat with John? Uh, and so, yep. yep. Jeremy, uh, apparently you have a big mouth, dear. Jeremy, you got to keep it. Gotta keep it. <laughs> yes. Zip it. Good. He kept my secret. All right. Oh my God. I, I have to tell you, I would love for Wee TV to pick up the John Miller meets the librarian. Uh, oh. I, I think that that would just be absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> so, uh, okay. so, well, I yeah. have a quick question. Yeah, so, yeah. have you, have you, Crystal, I mean, and I don't mean this in a disrespectful mm-hmm. way, have you ever had to serve time in jail or prison? Mm-hmm. It's good. I was in jail overnight once a long, long time ago. Okay. No. Other than no, like, no, no. Nah, you're good. That's okay. Who, who that's hasn't good. been? Who hasn't been in jail overnight? <laughs> uh, a long, a, a long, long time ago. <laughs> you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, I do not. Know you're trying to do. Well, he's getting better. He's getting better with his age. Yes. I'm going to give him a shout out because he's getting married in less than a month to one of my oh, other best congratulations. friends. Like, like, oh, congratulations. Oh, that's great, Jeremy. So, yeah. Right. So now so what, what happened? This? What, what's next for you two? So you guys went to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, are you like, are you planning on traveling any, anywhere else? You know, uh, we're, we're actually, uh, I'm taking her to meet my folks uh, sometime over the next few days. Uh, Ooh, and then okay. we've actually made plans to go to Branson in September, uh, mm-hmm. to meet up with my sister Branson. who was on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're going to do a, a Christmas thing down there in September. Mm-hmm. Um, we've talked about another convention in Chicago, 
-hmm. but she's going to Chicago for something else at some point. If I can drag her away, I'd like her to go to this one in Chicago with me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to Texas solo next month. Um, <laughs> for uh, for an autograph signing, uh, but yeah, we've we've got <laughs> I don't know where this future. Uh, um, we've talked about some future. Um, mm -hmm. uh, oh, John already got an invite. <laughs> okay, George. <tonight. laughs> yeah. already got it. Well, well, come on, Jeremy. That's going to be Crystal's plus one anyway. <laughs> exactly. John was my plus one before I ever technically invited him because I may have commitment <laughs> issues. So Jeremy and Sarah were both like, you just need to officially invite him. Right. So I'm like, fine, I'll finally do it. Right. Oh, so. Natalie has a good question. All right, shoot. Are they moving in together? Not at this time, no. Yeah. Okay. She has she has her own house. I have my house. Mm -hmm. Um, because of my daughter Essa, I'm looking to move over into her neck of the woods because mm -hmm. there's no services around here for my daughter. They keep uh, dipping out on us and whatnot. And mm -hmm. she lives in a little bit bigger area. So I'm able to get services for my daughter up there. So we're, we're looking at that. In fact, I'm going to look at a house today, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. So now Crystal, do you have children? <laughs> Jeremy. You're going to have a famous person at my wedding. <laughs> he's very excited. I know he is. He's, know, he's so excited. So do, so do you have children? I do have three boys. Okay. And now, now are they all older, younger? 19, 17, and 11. Okay. So you, so I, this will be a blended family, sort of like the Brady Bunch yeah. uh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Even though you, John, I think that most of yours are out of the house by now. Yeah. I, I just have Essa left at home. Right. And her so, and I get along great. We teen, like gang up on him. We tell on him to each other. You know, <laughs> it works out well. <laughs> In Atlanta, he went to the convention alone, which he's never allowed to do anything alone because, you know, mm -hmm. it's either inappropriate or he takes forever. So <laughs> into an hour. So I'm like, Essa, we had this big suite. So I'm like, I'm going to hide in this closet behind the door and you get in the bathroom. Right. <laughs> he, and he comes in and I pop out and might have scared the shit out of him. And she's videotaping the whole thing. But guess what? He deserved it because he left us there for an hour. Yeah, I need to do that you know. videotape. That sounds like it would be funny. <laughs> yeah, really. You should. You need to release that. <laughs> well, well, we had we we wanted to wait until after the interview before we released too much because we have we have video of uh, all three of us uh, at Camp Crystal Lake down oh. in Georgia, um, and and it was fantastic because we were the only ones there. The state let us in, um, so we got to tour the buildings and do whatever we wanted for an hour. And, uh, you know, we have other videotape. She was the one that got me to go to Molly's shop. Oh, yeah. Molly's shop. I got here from Molly's shop. You oh, my gosh, yes. we were, yeah, Again, my no, friend we got me to A little bit about this before yep. we came up here. And yeah. I need to know this story. So for yeah, those of you who don't Molly. know, Molly and Cynthia are on 90 Day Fiance. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, and they own a shop for, you know, lingerie, primarily yep. bras, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was asking John, why are you in a shop where they fit people for bras? Mm -hmm. I was wondering a little bit. So we knew there had to be a female somewhere, mm. but we just didn't know who. Okay. So tell us what happened in their shops. I need mm -hmm. to know. So it was like a half hour from the airport. So I'm like, let's go. Like I'm this close. Let's just go to Molly's shop. And it sucked because mm -hmm. she wasn't there. But I went in and I got fitted for a No, bra. you sent me in. Okay, shut up. I Because <laughs> I wasn't going to go all totally fangirl on her. And, and uh, the, our production companies are the same one. I love it. And I love so it. he comes out and he's like, you know, she's not here, but her employee said you can come in. So I did. I got fitted for a bra and I got like felt up in her store to get fitted for the bra. And no mm -hmm. one can really say they've been to Molly's store and got felt up in, you know. Right. That's that's um, true. Right. I mean, it was pretty cool. I wish I could have met her. Um, I would have totally get felt up in her store. So for me to get any action, I'm going to have to go to Molly's store. Is that the problem here? Oh, well, yeah. If you want to get a good feel up, you got to go to Molly's. All right. Exactly. <laughs> um, okay. I'm if I would have known that getting felt up in the store was an option that I could have partaken in, <laughs> I would have stayed in there longer and went back and got felt up. But uh, 
I, I didn't know that was a thing until she was already I think done. I'm missing out. The only time I get felt up is when I go to have a mammogram. And trust me, that's yeah, not fun. That's not, that's not it. Is that really even being felt up? It's kind of, it's kind of being squeezed a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it was in Molly's store, so, you know, I'm, I would have been okay with getting felt up. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you would. I, I am so glad, John, just to tell you, you have picked yourself a really, really good girlfriend because yes. most women would have said, Come in here. Put this on. Oh, come on! Just put, just put the bra on. Just put the bra on, John. I Let me take I a little. Shot. I mean, I, 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 I would have. I. That wouldn't have even been the weirdest thing I did that day. So I mean. Not even the weirdest thing you did that day. Oh, according to Amber, I love no, her show, I, you guys. Mm. Welcome. I love Hi, her. Amber. Oh, I know. I her. Yeah, I watch. Yes, I definitely I watch her. It's great. Yeah, I love her. She's uh, amazing. I yeah. think John is going live with her on Monday, correct? Yes. Yes. I love Amber. She she's a special really, guest. She's really, really good. Yeah. Yes. She definitely. Yes, I do. I, 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 I'll, I'll be tuning in, in for that one. But I've only sure. agreed. Mm -hmm. I've only agreed to the two interviews. Um, mm -hmm. And there will be more to be released on uh, on Amber's show as well. Um, okay. Well, yeah. I appreciate you choosing myself and Amber because yeah. she's, she's an amazing um, person as well. With, with the uh, with the war going on on YouTube right now, um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm very careful, uh, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I've I've checked into you know the people that that I think would have been a good fit for us, mm -hmm. and um, Thank you. you know, it, it 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 had to be a right fit. Uh, we're mm -hmm. trying to do this in a right way. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we couldn't even post anything with us on our Facebooks or anything like that Aww. until we officially, you know, made it known that this is a thing. Right, right. Um, so we've been we've been waiting for for the opportunity uh, mm -hmm. um, to do that. Um, oh, you. now you guys can finally make it official and change your status on Facebook to in a relationship. That's what I hear, you know. <laughs> it's once you're in a relationship, it's it's serious business. Yes, it's very yeah, it's, you know when you mark uh, I'm so glad that you uh chose to come to my mm -hmm. channel to, mm -hmm. to speak with us. I really am because that means a lot. We do we do make a big effort to keep everything happy and fun, mm -hmm. positive. And I, yeah, I can't do the whole like ah, at each other. Like I just I can't. Do yeah, that. it's uh, it's insane. And I've I've it's, popped into uh, a few of the other channels and I've watched this stuff unfold over the last year. And yeah, I mean, you remember back in the day when things were normal. And you I know, I'd, I'd pop in the live, and it'd be Doctor Clyde and Nurse Jen, and you know, I, all I, of I do, yeah, yeah. Cool. And it was a, it was a good time. You know, I had fun, fun doing that because it was lighthearted. You know, I got to be as stupid as I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. You know, solve all the world's problems. Solve all the world's problems, absolutely. You know, yes. Thank God, somebody. Part is. Of your body clean, clean. We got you. <laughs> It definitely, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was it was much different. Uh Crystal, yeah. I don't I don't know um how much you are into like the into YouTube and into the YouTube streets as we like to call it, but um yes. I, I will I can promise you that two years ago it was never like this and it was a lot no. more fun and it was a lot more comfortable and um everybody got along and it's it's a it's sad that um, we can't do that again. Yeah, but. It's, I mean, everybody's got their own channel. Just do your thing. Just, you know, leave all, yeah. all this petty yeah. bullshit alone. Right. I like the content I mean, because... Nobody's mailing snakes through the mail. Mm -hmm. Nobody's standing outside your house with a <laughs> shotgun. Nobody, um, nobody was um, right behind you getting ready to kill me. <laughs> right. Nobody's on the roof. You know, nobody's bugging your phone. I mean, come on. Yeah, this is no. fucking YouTube. Yeah. I mean, seriously, this is not like Espionage Central over right, here. Right. I don't know what so, so, Crystal, I, I have... I, so. Now, now that you've been, you know, introduced to the world, uh, has John prepared you for what is likely to come of being the girlfriend of a reality TV star? Has has 
What has he told you to be ready for? I, I'm going to talk to you like you're one of my girlfriends and John's not in the room. And I'm going to be like, girl, girl, really? What were you thinking? What did he tell you? <laughs> I don't know if he really, my best friend really was like, you need to be prepared for the fan backlash. Um, and he, you know, I know he has loyal fans. I can see it. So I guess it wasn't that. It could be like anyone from maybe his past mm -hmm. that yeah. would come, you mm -hmm. know, is what mm -hmm. I was more preparing myself for. Mm -hmm. And and that has happened. Yeah. That oh. happened. yeah. yeah one I, of my exes uh, who is uh, really irritated with me has reached out to her already. Mm -hmm. Seriously? In just a yeah. month? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Come wow. on. Yeah. You, you would be surprised. And, and the thing is, too, is like we're not even I'm not even talking about necessarily like Christiana. Yeah. You you tend to get the hate from the girlfriends from five girlfriends ago yep. that are, you know, when it go and insert themselves, you know, anyway, but so you so you've already gotten one. Yep. But so you are you are fully prepared for what yeah. is coming down the pike of, you know, I mean, I don't know if you've like followed people on Instagram and things like that, but you know, sometimes the 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 partners get really it gets bad you know for the partners so i was just wondering what he may have told you to prepare you for all of that nothing john you didn't prepare her at all did you <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna say that, that like the just silence like, speaks volumes <laughs> I, I guess i don't know i'm going in this with i don't give a crap what other people think and as long as it's truly away from my kids that's all, you know, any hate, any negative stuff mm -hmm. away from them, I can totally mm -hmm. handle what's coming my way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, you know, I, I one thing that I think that we've all also learned with all of the, the, the stuff that's been going on, and it's not just our community, it's a number of communities on YouTube. I think that as long as you kind of rise above it and you don't respond to it. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you just go, whatever you have to say is whatever you have to say, because the people that really like me, believe me, it's when yeah. you start to get into that. Yeah. I need yeah. to get up and, you know, uh, swear up and down or whatever and stomp your feet that, you know, that's when you start to get. So I, I, I think it's great. I'm so happy for you, John. You got a librarian. Yeah, I know, Jeremy, I have you a librarian. This is fabulous. I love this. We TV, please make a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, God, if they would have had cameras in like the vehicle down at in Atlanta, oh my like, God. Oh my God. Shit, it you guys would have been like rolling because it's kind of like. Uh, 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 I'll give you a for instance. Uh, we were leaving the hotel, uh, it was on our last day. And we were going to go out to Camp Crystal Lake because we located uh -huh. where it was. And mm -hmm. as we were pulling out of the, the parking ramp, there was this guy in a wheelchair. Um, and he was having a hard time making it up this hill. So I'm like, fuck it. I slam the car in park. I get out the car. I go over. And I'm like, hey, boss, let me give you a hand. Uh, where do you want to go? So I ended up taking him all the way up to the end of the block. Uh -huh. And uh, and helping him out, and I gave him a few dollars, and so he could get some cigarettes and whatnot. And uh -huh. um, all of a sudden, here comes the rental car. I'm like, <laughs> all right, so I get in, and I'm in the passenger side. And now I wish I would have uh, not done that. Uh -huh. uh, hey, you're alive, aren't you? I'm pretty sure I had several heart attacks. On the way. <laughs> okay. In my defense, it's the wait, biggest wait, do, am I that. sensing another man cold coming out? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sensing the fact that uh, she can't I, drive. Oh. I, wait, I, I she can't she drive? Have a, but guess what? He is not a good, like, wait, my best friend. Wait, saying you can't drive? I said, no. turn here. Guess what? You didn't yell it at <laughs> well, My best friend, I have trained in to be my, light like, co-pilot. And everyone right. else is going to get fired because she knows how I work and she knows I'm uh -huh. somewhere and I'm not going to remember where I park. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy. Like, have you guys been in Atlanta? Like six yes. months? Yes. Yes. It's yes. crazy. Yes. Yes. Driven. Right. So, yes, you know, Jeremy. Crystal was driving. <laughs> it's so young. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So then <laughs> the GPS is going and the GPS isn't talking to me. 
So uh-huh. of course it's like telling me maybe I should turn, but yet it's telling me to go straight. And he's like, right, hey, right. I'm like, no, I don't. Well, I did. Uh-huh. And so I'm like, you didn't scream this at me. Call Doran. She'll tell you how the hell to do this. And she did. And so, <laughs> yep. We ended up in like, you know, backwood shit. Yeah. And then, you know, I may have, You're talking to the queen a couple of times. Or like may have yelled at me to break a couple times. Uh-huh. But I got us there in one piece. Right. That's all, it's that all that matters, right? And the car was invented or damaged or anything, and no tickets no. were. No, no, no. No uh, heart attacks. I'm I several of those. Um <laughs> I'm sure that I died at least once. <laughs> I died was, once. <laughs> yes, it was. I don't think John would want to ride with me either. I, I get the feeling he probably wouldn't <laughs> like it much. I mean, it was you know, and I Oh God! <laughs> He's He's even totally so traumatized by it. So that's his stupidity, isn't it? Oh my God! You're still traumatized. I, I am very traumatized. Uh, I, I, I think I'm he's not... as scared of your driving as you are of flying. Oh my God! That is he, he, absolutely. Oh, God. Uh, and and I told her while we were driving, she was talking about getting on the plane that day, and uh-huh. I'm like. I have more chance of dying with you driving right now. <laughs> and that's statistically accurate. Nobody would let me go on Google, though, and read these statistics. I was joking. I was joking. My, my brother used to do the same thing to me. If I had a dollar for every time I heard, oh, my God, you have more chances of dying in your car than on a yes, plane. But, thank I'm you. Like, but here's the thing, dude. If a plane goes down, you're you're dead. You're gone. I know, okay. right? You're just right. Look. I'm not well, helping her situation at let all. Let me tell you what. <laughs> have, have you guys seen her shirt? That did, she's did, wearing? Yes. Did it you stood up. I couldn't read it, but because the glare. Something about coffee. Okay. Oh, no, this way. No. Nope. 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 There's, there's, there you go. All right. I got coffee. Oh, yeah. Life. I like my men how i like my like tea my oh, something geez. about being in your underwear no, you want your man in your underwear wait, what in a, in a bag underwater oh, oh in a bag. <laughs> it's not in my underwear <laughs> i was like wow you go crystal so this is a long <laughs> standing joke because when i first met him i'm like hey i don't like men just leave me the hell you know I'm very going to probably run from you. Well, I did. Right. <laughs> and I just want to tell Jeremy, I may drive, but guess what? He loads my kids in the car. Mm-hmm. And my uh-huh. older two were probably like, what, eight and six? And he didn't uh-huh. buckle them up. And some one of my kids put the car in reverse. I'm pretty sure. Oh. We're going to be like, so, you know, oh. about my driving, but he almost killed himself because of my kids. Because Jeremy, know. Jeremy, Jeremy, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Jeremy says there goes, he's shocked. There goes our sympathy for Jeremy. That's why I always <laughs> drive with her and when we're together. Got it. Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious. That is just hilarious. You he's still traumatized. He's still I'll traumatized. You, my 11 year old looked at him and he's like, My mom's always got me everywhere safely. So see, I have a backup here and I've got my best friend everywhere safely. So there you go. Yeah. I don't know, but you have to realize, John, in, in in most cases, when it comes to females, the best friend is actually more precious cargo than any man in their life. You are right. And with this one, I almost hit a deer the other night, right? And I thought I was going to die. And she's like, I'm taking the deer side. <laughs> I'm an animal okay. lover. I'm a vegetarian. Totally will take the animal side no matter what. So at least, you know, he knows us now. I asked her last night if a shark yeah, jumped up and bit my head off, who would okay, you be mad at? She's like, you for being out there. That's the conversation we were having. I can't yes. remember. Yes. You're not vegetarian though, right, John? I am not. No. You're not. Okay. So this uh, is going to be interesting. The, the vegetarian yeah, and the meat eater. He can make the meat. I'll make all the sides. We both like right. to bake, so it'll be good. There you go. You realize, John, every single time you uh, bite into a burger, she's going to be side-eyeing you and telling you about baby cows. <laughs> no, that's, his that's his daughter. It's not even me. Oh, well, it's not even him. Right. Uh-oh, Jer- Jeremy, you know, too. Jeremy has a story. Yeah, I want to hear Jeremy. I want to hear that. Mm-hmm. Do you know what this is about, Crystal? 
No, because it could be so much. Hey, drop Jeremy a link. <laughs> Tell him to come on. Yeah, I was going to say, actually, Susie, I have got to go because I have okay. got to get back to work. Um, I don't know how to drop a link. Crap. Crystal and John, uh, you cut and paste it. You could put it, cut and paste it in there. Um, okay. John and Crystal, I think you were fabulous. I love this. We TV, oh my God, please do John Miller and the Librarian because I just think that this would be. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Crystal, that you will just be known as the Librarian okay. and not That's Crystal. Okay. But I mean, and the fact that you guys love horror and I could just. See the there great show of them following you around a convention, a horror convention, and then just the, the shit that would ensue between the two of you. Oh, I it's think it's be, awful. I was walking I, over to get an autograph, and here she is on the floor with my daughter looking through newspaper clippings of yeah. serial <laughs> She was right. gone. Do you guys have him on Facebook? Uh, I, I do, yeah. I, okay, so I went, and there's a makeup artist that you could do real head wounds. So I took right. his daughter and we just did that. And he comes like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, we're doing this. Like, we're doing yeah. We're doing yeah. yeah. I'm a mandatory reporter. I almost had to turn her in. I, oh my God. That's great. Oh, I mean, oh, that's right. You would be a mandatory reporter. That uh, yeah, yeah, you would have to. Well, I don't know if you if you turn in for fake head wounds. <laughs> freaking real. Uh, yeah. And you do not watch Grey's Anatomy. Anatomy. All right. Right. Well, I'm I'm gonna drop down. So Jeremy can come up. I'm I'm bummed okay. that I'm not gonna get a chance to meet Jeremy. Right, but best yeah, of luck to both of you, and I and I hope that we get to have you guys come back and we can have a, yeah. a night of of John and the li we'll do our own episodes of John and the Librarian. There you go. Fuck you, we TV. Yay. We're having exclusive rights. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hi guys. Nice to meet you. Jeremy, if you want to click the link, I will you can just pop right up with us. We actually uh we had an idea for a TV show a while back and, and we're looking at, at possibly doing it. Have you ever seen the show like Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire? Yes. We want to do one with an inmate. Who wants to marry an inmate? Oh, that's actually a really good idea. How many people really actually want to marry an inmate? I mean, is that like their goal in life? Know. or uh, We don't know. That's true. I mean, weirder <laughs> things have happened, right? It'd be fun. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Does Jeremy know to click the link or? Well, yeah, he's like more tech savvy than I am. So. <laughs> Hold on. I got to get my click the link. We have that house to I want to hear the story he has to tell. Crystal, so you have no idea which story it is? No. Yeah, my brother used to like to tell stuff on me, too. Thank you, Amber. I'm so glad you came in. Y'all, I, I really Please enjoyed this now. Okay, he might be trying to get on because he's not answering his phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe he'll pop up here in a minute. Oh, wait, there he is. There yeah. he is. We're going to bring Jeremy up. I want to hear this story. Hello, hello, Jeremy. Nice to meet you. You guys, too. What's up, Jeremy? Yeah. So you got some details, huh? Well, I won't go into a lot of stories. I know way too much about this woman <laughs> to even try it. So I'm not going to do that. But so she was driving one day and there was a rabbit in the road and she and she swerved to miss the rabbit and wound up in. Oh, what was it like on the side or on the basically up on a curve? <laughs> a big uh -oh. brick curb. Yeah. <laughs> She's lucky oh. she didn't like pull her van in the process. I, it was a thousand dollars damage, but I saved the rabbit's life. I was yeah. also like eighteen. Well, that's all but that I, counts. That you saved the rabbit's life because I did. And now I, I have no going out over things time. accidentally. Just I didn't one. realize it was on Halloween night too. Were you with me? No, you called me about it afterwards. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, I got the story secondhand. Dude. Yeah. Oh, okay, God. so Jeremy, how bad is her driving? I'd like to really know. <laughs> I know she's more of a crazy living. driver than anything else. Like she speeds and she doesn't really pay attention much. <laughs> That's being, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm the thing. same. Yeah. Don't tell anybody I speed, but I do. No, my 17 year old may yell at me when we're driving and he may take over. No, my 14-year-old grabs a little thing that you hold on to in my car sometimes. I'm like, girl, calm down. Your crap handle? Yeah. I'm like, I'm just turning. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to live. <laughs> yeah, I, I know the old crap handle. I've used that before, yeah. too. 
Yeah, you're, so you're getting a lot, a lot of positive comments over here. Uh, uh, yeah. Am I? Yeah, I can't see it. Well, I, can't see funny. it. I know, right? I have to so, I rescue animals. That's what I do. I do. I oh, do you really? Animals. Oh, my yeah. God. I love that. Yeah. She Everybody does. It's a great show. What's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it really is. I'm so glad that you guys decided to come on. It just made my whole day. Super excited. And you know what, John? You look very happy, and so does Crystal. And that's all that matters. We just want you to be happy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's Fun important. Time. But a month, y'all y'all already act like kind of an old married couple a little bit. I know, but it's kind of nice, though. <laughs> then we don't have to do all the bullshit in between, right? There you right? go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm halfway to dead anyway. So. Shut up. What? Half, you can tell him he needs to die. I'm going to be the one to kill him. Like, seriously, he needs to shut up with that. <laughs> he introduced me to his kid. She's a librarian, maybe a serial killer, too. A, pot a potential serial killer? <laughs> That's yes. kind of scary. You know, right? No it's killing anybody. I'm telling you. Jeremy, do you have any other stories you'd like to embarrass your sister with? No, not particularly. <laughs> He's like, no, she's going to kill me if I do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. I'm like, you know, she'll eventually get me back in Charles City. I, I I would like to be able to live. It's one of those deals. We're, she we're actually going to gonna be there in about an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm actually looking at a house over there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I say she does have a key to my house. So. Huh. Yeah, she's mentioned that several times. Yeah. So, I need to John, this house now you're thinking so of moving to, she's in the Atlanta area, right? Right? Down no, in I'm in Iowa. No, she lives in Iowa. Yeah. Oh, you do live in Iowa. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. away from him. Yeah. Okay, I got confused on the whole Atlanta thing. My bad. No, that was just vacation. Oh. Yeah. Wait. No, we're an hour away. Oh, so oh, that's pretty awesome, though. Yeah. yeah. That's why you were able to help with the man cold. I'm assuming. I yes. know, right? And yep. she never did help with the man cold. Hey, I didn't bring him food, but the meat made my kids sick. So he would have thought I poisoned him if I would have actually fed him. I was going to say, are you sure she didn't help you or you perceived it as she didn't help you? Because men kind of see things a little differently than women. I uh... right, Come Jeremy? on, ladies. Anybody in here? It is true. That? It is true. Yeah, it is very true. I, I can be like. I got COVID and it was really, really bad. I was, I, you know, I did my thing. I made my own soup. I rested. I did what I needed to do. The man in the house is like, oh my God, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> that sounds about like me. I'm like, you're not dying. It's pretty you're sure that's how Jeremy sounded when he had COVID. It was. I definitely got to put my shoes on now or we okay, are going to yeah. be late. Oh, oh, so, you guys. Yeah, we have a house we appointment. Go? Okay. Okay, so, well, you know what? I appreciate you guys being here, though. I really, really do. And thank you, Jeremy, for popping in. John, hey, we're going to talk. We're going to talk. Fun time. We'll do this thing. <laughs> thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. John, uh, uh, nice. Jeremy, Hit me up on IG. Down, okay? Thank you so much. All right. Bye, guys. Nice to meet Have you. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> okay, that was fun, y'all. That was really fun. All right. I am going to uh, end this broadcast. Thanks to everybody that was here. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, because, ooh, Monday, I have another interview coming up with a really special guest. Uh, and if you follow, I will I will leave a link down below for my 90-day page. Um, it's actually someone from Thousand Pound Sisters. Actually, I can say who it is. It's Chris. It's Chris from Thousand Pound Sisters. So y'all are more than welcome to come in for that one because I'm super excited. I'm so stoked to, to interview him because he's he's my favorite on the show. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right. I'm going to step out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate all your support. Bye, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Peace out. <laughs>